I did not just flick that spider. Watch this. Watch this drama queen. What a performance. The Putnam's Jumping Spider is among the most beautiful jumping spiders of North America. It is one of my favorite jumpers for sure. The first time I got an up-close look at a male Putnam's Jumping Spider, I thought it looked like a painted woolly mammoth skull or an ancient sub-Saharan African tribal mask, like some sort of warrior king. It's like it was created by an artist, definitely one of the most handsome North American jumping spiders. The female doesn't resemble the male, but she too has an impressive look, kind of like a small, multicolored tarantula. Small but these spiders can get quite large for jumpers. It's funny, and sad really, but an internet search of this spider produces little in the way of results. Oh, there is some information, description, range, name, etc., but nothing really about behavior. Well, I've been observing some of these handsome jumpers over the summer, and some things I've noticed are, they are fairly calm, but they can be quite intense and dramatic. I've noticed that they have a certain behavior when startled where they appear to bounce around all over the place. I would guess that it is a defense mechanism to lessen the likelihood of a predator getting a good grip during an attack. And so it's probably a good thing, but it certainly looks like a bunch of drama by both males and females. Here are some examples. I say that they appear to bounce around all over the place, but it's actually spinning and flipping and spin flipping. Let's slow down these performances, shall we? Here you can see that the male executes a near perfect backflip to get away. In the following clips, the same male leaps and spins through the air. Watch how quickly the jumping spider flips. Let's watch it again. Okay, now let's slow it way down. If you'll notice, during the flip, he tucks his legs in for protection. Then opens them back up once he's on the ground. It's awesome. And I said they can be quite dramatic. Watch this female when my finger just barely touches her. It's a huge overreaction. She just throws herself off to the right. Now in this one, it looks like I flicked the spider away. Something I would never do, but I barely touched it. It really looks like I flicked it away. These spiders are definitely drama queens. And this male was rather intrigued with a female. That is, until she pounced on him. Well, he was intrigued with her, then she kind of gave him the evil eye. Then as he turned away, she pounced on him. But he did that flip out thing and got away from her. I'm not sure if she was going to eat him or if it was just playful or what. Putnam's jumping spiders can grow to about half an inch in length which I would imagine is the females as every adult male that I've ever seen was about three-eighths of an inch in length. From a distance, males appear dark and rather bland. However, an up-close inspection reveals a multitude of colors and patterns. Its legs are reddish-brown with cream-colored hairs. While both males and females are covered with bristles all over, the males are more so, especially on the front pair of legs and about the face. And the face of the male is where it really gets interesting. While the coloring of the male varies among individuals, the head is usually black overall with a mixture of gray and olive green coloring. The face is mostly reddish and its chelicerae are cream colored and quite bristled. These bristled chelicerae give it the appearance of having tusks, which is probably why I think of woolly mammoth skulls when I see them. There is a white triangular shape atop the head as well as two ridges of black hair that give the appearance of large eyebrows. The male's abdomen is often black, but can have olive green coloring. There is a white basal band on the front of the abdomen and a triangular patch in the center. There are various other white stripes and spots about the abdomen as well. 
The female also has reddish brown legs, but they are covered with golden hair. While the head is a mixture of brown and cream coloring, the face is mostly white and there is a white horizontal stripe above a black stripe that gives a sort of appearance that she is frowning. Viewed from the front, there are four distinctive black hair tufts protruding from the forehead of the female. The top of the abdomen varies in patterning and coloration. In adult females, the tops of the abdomen and cephalothorax are often tan or cream colored with varying amounts of black. To me, it resembles the top of a loaf of bread that baked in the oven for a little too long. The immature female Putnam's jumping spider often has metallic green coloring on its abdomen and can resemble an immature female emerald jumping spider, but there are differences. While the young female Putnam's head is beige with varying degrees of brown and black, the head of an immature female emerald jumper is almost always metallic green and gold, as seen here. These spiders can be found in a variety of habitats including woodland edges, parks, seldom used vehicles, and on the outsides of houses and other structures. Putnam's jumping spiders eat mostly insects. Like the majority of jumpers, they do not build webs to ensnare food. They ambush or hunt down and pounce on prey. They will however use their silk to create a safe shelter and to make egg sacs and protective shelters around the egg sacs. The majority of jumping spiders are creatures of opportunity and will eat just about whatever they can overpower and kill, which includes other spiders. I've seen Putnam's jumping spiders eat flies, leafhoppers, assassin bug nymphs, moths, and the nymphs of praying mantises. In this photo, a young female Putnam's jumper eats a Carolina mantis nymph, and in this one she is eating a pale green assassin bug nymph. In this footage, she pounces on a fly. I feel I should be clear, I swatted this fly and presented it to the spider. Even though the fly is immobile, the jumper launches itself with lightning speed. After all, she probably didn't know it was injured and didn't want to take any chances. Putnam's jumping spiders can be found over the eastern half of the United States from Texas to Nebraska, east to Maine and Georgia. <laughs> if I dunk this basketball, you subscribe.